Hi everyone, in this mini lecture we are going to take a look at the popular culture event paper uh, assignment due in this course towards uh, about the two-thirds mark in our semester. So the popular culture paper is about 20 is worth 20 percent of your final grade. It's a the length requirement is 1200 words and like other papers in this course it's done in two phases. The first phase is to select your event and the second phase is to of course write the paper. And really what we're looking at is um, this paper's goal is to explore a place where popular culture occurs. So students are going to event, uh, attend an event and consider the ways popular culture is maintained, enacted, presented, and engaged in at that event. So what does this look like? There are three parts of this assignment. You're going to select an event, a popular culture event, that you want to attend. You're going to actually attend the event. And then you're going to write about the event. So what kind of events are we talking to, talking about here? There, there's lots of different events that you could attend. There's so many different popular culture events happening any given day. So here are some ideas, although you're not limited to solely these. I would love to see what people think of or decide to incorporate. I've seen people do some really great, uh, attend some really great events around this. But you could do something like a comic or anime or genre convention. You could do an author signing, such as Neil Gaiman or Stephen King. You could attend a parade. Uh, I've had several students attend the St. The Saint Paddy's Day Parade uh, since we are close to Boston, and it's a very big event around here. You could attend a major sporting event. Uh, you could attend a pop music concert or some kind of, you know, some alternative concert, really any, uh, any kind of music concert in that regard. So what is the so here are some things to think about when you're attending the event or, or kind of how to maximize getting material for your paper. You need to think about this line between being a participant and an observer. Um, it's not a bad idea to try to be both. That is, participate actively in what's going on, but also at times step back and kind of see what people are doing. Um, in this regard, you know, the idea is to really understand and appreciate what's going on. I would recommend bringing a notepad and some kind of recording device, either to take pictures to help you capture things. If you're actually recording people, uh, especially if you're recording an individual, say asking them a question or interviewing, please make sure you get uh, permission to record something like that. Otherwise, have a notepad to just be taking notes. I really would be careful here. Here's one of those challenges. You should be exploratory. You should look for understanding and how to make sense through the participant's eyes. Avoid making judgment. Avoid judging people for the ways in which they participate in whatever popular culture they're involved in. Um, you really want to understand and kind of get what understand what they're doing and what they're getting out of it. You don't want to say, oh, look at them, they're doing this because of some negative reason. You know, they don't get enough attention at home. I don't know what. But really think about what what is the value for them? What are they getting by attending this event and participating it in the ways that they are? Always, you know, if you do start to talk to people and ask them about what they're doing, always remember to ask respectfully. Really try to avoid laden judgments in, in your questions, right? You would ask them to explain things, but you don't want to sound like you, you, have, you have a better appreciation of other things. You know, you wouldn't say something like, oh, I don't listen to that. You know, if talking to somebody about the music that they are appreciating or something like that. So just just be aware of that and kind of keep that in the back of your head. So what about writing the event? Well, these are questions you want to be thinking about and you know should be answering in some way. I don't want to see your paper just being a line listing of answering these questions, but these are questions to kind of help you get to the heart of what you're trying to do in this paper. So how do people participate in this form of popular culture? How do they show, embody, support this popular culture? How do they get how do they engage with this popular culture and what do people seem to get out of the event? 
how do you consider and describe the behavior, norms, values, actions, etc. of people at the event? What appear or feel to be taboos or inappropriate acts at the event? Does there appear to be a hierarchy among attendees? And this question of hierarchy is a good one to really think about, is who seem to be more privileged or more empowered to act in certain ways? And why is that? Or how can you understand that those kind of relationships? And sometimes it's, you know, it's sometimes it's very economically based. You know, somebody pays more so they get better seats or something along those lines. How do the event producers encourage exchanges between the audience or attendees and the popular culture? So what is the, the place, you know, what is the larger structure doing to encourage this kind of interaction and event? What was surprising, out of place, or just didn't fit in with the event, or at least through your perceptions didn't seem to fit in with the event? And think about, could it still, or is there some way of, of explaining it? And how do you connect? How do you connect what you saw with what you've been studying within this course? And I have to say, this is a key piece uh, within your paper. If if you don't address this substantially, it's going to hurt your paper. Uh, the goal here is to really be thinking about the different ways we've been looking at popular culture and uh, studying it, and then kind of connecting what goes on in the real world with what we've been reading in the course. All right, so in writing the paper, um, really kind of consider yourself an anthropologist and explore the underlying assumptions of the event. Really kind of think about what's going on um, that you want to talk about and write about. As I said, don't just answer the questions that are listed. Really try to craft a well, uh, a well-worded essay. And you know, really do keep in mind this is a critical essay. So you need to actively observe and analyze and you need to connect the content, connect the event to the course content, right? You want this, this is a fun assignment, but it still requires some rigor and some work. Um, students would do well to pay close attention to um, some of the essays in the book, particularly those around event attending, sh such as uh, the chapter on Shakespeare. Uh, though the, some of those are, are really do, or even the one on radio, um, there are some really good ones there to help you think about space and place and how people relate to that. The essay itself should draw upon course material. Can't emphasize that enough. Um, and just as a heads up and why it's important to get your selection in soon is that no two students can attend the same event for this assignment. So if one student's doing if two, you know, if two students are interested in doing the St. Pat Patrick's Day Parade in Boston, then a third student who comes along is going to have to choose something else. They can still go to it on their own. It just can't count as part of their assignment or it can't be the assignment which they can't be the event in which they focus this assignment on. All right, that's all for this mini lecture. Please let me know if you have questions and thanks thanks for watching.